Good morning and welcome to Island Adventures. Where are we at today, babe? We are at Coronado Springs, specifically the Grand Destino Tower. We're going to stay here for two nights. We're going to show you guys around the resort and show you our room. All right, let's do this. Here's the sign as you drive in. Grand Destino Tower and the building behind it. It is huge. I'm loving it. It's 50 degrees here and we've got the heaters on. It's Florida. Yeah, we would take that any day at winter in Ohio, wouldn't we, Val? Absolutely, it feels pretty good. Okay, let's walk into the lobby now and show you around. So beautiful, so nice. It even smells really good. I don't know what the smell is, but I like it. So if you go to the right, that'll be your check-in desk. Several spots to go. And then panning around to the left, a little sitting area down there. Probably can't see it, but it's actually nice. I don't know if that's maybe concierge or something. I'm not sure what that area is. Moving forward, what do we have here, Val? First we see the beautiful chandelier. It's huge, it's so cool. But then we can see the lower lobby. Just like a seating area, just a lower level. We're technically on floor two right now in the main lobby, and that is actually floor one. Over to the side here, there's a seating area, and we notice they even have plugs. There's regular plugs and USB ports in the seats. So we're here at Grand Destino Tower, and the elevators are really cool. You come to a board like this, and you select what you want. So we're going to breakfast, so it's going to be LL. We use elevator C. Elevator C. There's C, and a, a, B, C, D, E, F. And then when you get on, there are no buttons. So no matter what, you are going to the floor that you pressed. Yup. So just remember that when you get on the elevator here. So we're actually gonna leave Grand Destino Tower. We're still gonna stay indoors though, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna head over to the older part of Coronado Springs where the old check-in lobby was. That's where, um, El Mercado and Rick's and my grill. Some of the restaurants are over there. So let's go. It is a very long walk down this hallway, but uh, it's very nice. At least it's indoors. They connected everything when they built the new tower. So this is actually the old lobby where you would come in and check in. Um, we'll show you there were doors by a fountain and then you would check in behind me. And here is Panchitos, where you can get you a little merch. Hopefully it's open when we're done with breakfast so we can go in. So down this hallway are Rick's Sports Bar and Grill, which is where we're headed. Right now they have sit down, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then the El Syndrome Marketplace, which used to be like the main food court. Things are a little different now because of COVID, so it's just grab and go selections. And then my grill is also further down the hallway actually not sure if it's open okay my grill is not open at the current time this sign shows exactly what dining is open we're here i guess this whole area is called el centro so we have the el mercado that's the grab and go and then rick's sports bar and grill where we ate breakfast it's delicious they have the pool bar they have sorry i'm jumping around they have barcelona lounge which is over in the tower where we were they have Three Bridges Bar and Grill, which we'll actually show you in a little bit. It's out in the middle of the lake. And then the Dahlia Lounge is on the top floor, which I think we're gonna see if we can get up there today. So in the middle of the lake, which I still don't know the name of, I really should know the name. There is what they call Three Bridges Bar and Grill. There are actually three bridges going to it from the various areas of the resort. It's pretty cool. 
show you a little bit of the view here when you walk across the bridge to go there it's pretty nice pretty new okay. behind me is the three bridges bar and grill we actually ate there for dinner last night it was delicious highly recommend the warm cheese dip and the pork tacos it is outdoor dining and we were very spaced out they even gave us a little plate to put our masks on it's pretty nice so we're going to kind of pan around the lake and show the different sections. Behind me right now is the casitas section. So that way behind the restaurant is the rancho section. It's actually currently not accepting guests as of what day is today, January 16th. Um, that section is still closed. And then directly behind me is the cabanas section. So it's really three sections and they're all very, very differently themed. And then of course we have the fourth section, the newest, the beautiful Grand Destino Tower. Took a short video clip of this last night when we ate at the bar grill over here and uh, we're going to show that to you right now. This is the nighttime shot of the Grand Destino Tower. It is beautiful. So you can see the tower obviously that's where we're staying and then this part is that hallway that we walked through with the old check-in lobby and the gift shop and then the restaurants are kind of over here where this green roof is so it's not a terrible walk but it does take a couple minutes okay so this is the map of Coronado Springs Resort just to make sure it's clear here's the tower where we're staying and then here's that hallway we walked here's all the restaurants and you can see here's the casita section it's pretty big and it goes around to the rancho section and then the cabanas you can see each section has their own bus stop so you're never far from a bus stop at least and then we did we didn't show the pool it was kind of behind the restaurant too there's the pool and then there's the three bridges bar and grill in the middle of the lake ah lago dorado there you go the name of the lake so we are taking a walk to our room <laughs> to give you the room tour. Look, hidden Mickey's in the carpet. Hidden Mickey's in the carpet, Valerie says. Yay. There you go. Good morning. Welcome to our room here at Coronado Springs Grand Destino Tower. It is beautiful. The door shuts very loudly though. So the first thing you come to is the bathroom. It's nice, big. The toilet has its own little room. So that's nice with the kind of a pocket door. Got two sinks. Oh yeah, two sinks. Oh, they give you the little, oh, there you go. Some aloe in case you get burnt. <laughs> and then we do have the giant walk-in shower. So Ed's pretty excited about that. Love it. A big mirror, of course, as you can see. And then you got your little, you know, amenities in there that they give everybody. Oh, true. And it's it's wrapped in plastic and says cleaned. So you have to trust them that they did clean it in between guests. And we do trust them. Got this big wardrobe closet. It's a full length mirror on that side so you can make sure everything matches. Standard hangers, iron, ironing boards, safe, extra pillows and blankets. Pretty nice, plenty of room. We've got, so we have a king bedroom. So obviously the one king size bed. And look, housekeeping left us a little Mickey. Tally animal, so cute. 
And then on both sides of the bed, there's a nice large nightstand and there are USB plugs and regular plugs in the lamp. So that's really nice. You can charge those phones. And an extra, and an extra mirror. Yeah, there are lots of mirrors in this room. And then three drawers. There's tons of storage in here. Got this giant desk office workspace. Huge TV. And over here you've got your, you know, cups and ice bucket. Nice Keurig K cup. Coffee maker. That's nice. And then this side has the fridge, pretty good size fridge. It's not gonna fit a gallon of milk, but it'll fit, you know, water bottles and pop and that kind of stuff. And then this side of the big desk is three giant drawers. Those are huge. And that's nice. We've got a little chair in the corner, the lamp, if you wanna sit and put up your feet and read. And we've got a little couch. I have sat on it, it's very comfortable. It does not pull out. We kind of wondered about that, it is just a couch. And you got your doors over here on the other side, of course. And a little Mickey pamphlet. More mirrors on the artwork. More mirrors. There are lots of mirrors. And we actually have a pretty cool view. So we're on the fourth floor, and there are actually 16 floors. The tower does go way up over there. I think it's just the restaurant on the 16th floor. I think the rooms go up to 15. But you can see the rest of Coronado Springs. You can see out there the Casita section. And then I think the ranchos are out there. That building in the middle of the lake is Three Bridges Restaurant. It's pretty new, we haven't been there. And then to the far right, kind of out of the picture is the cabana section. Pretty nice view. And then way off in the distance, can you see it in the camera? Yes, you can. We can see Expedition Everest, the Animal Kingdom. How, How cool. cool is that? I wondered if we could see any theme parks and we can, pretty cool. So this is the fourth level view. Imagine what the view is from up top. Those people that's way up there. <laughs> So, it's kind of nice. That does it for the resort and room tour here at Coronado Springs. And now that we stay tonight, what'd you think, babe? Um, we're never leaving. Don't want to leave. The bed was so comfortable. I think it's the best night's sleep you've gotten in a long time. Um, the shower was really nice. It has like the rain shower head and the other kind. So you could, you use the regular and I like the rain shower. So that was nice. Um, everything is just... It's just so nice. It's nice beautiful. and roomy. The, yeah, the room is huge. We're sitting on the couch right now. Um, the food's all been delicious. We've had breakfast at Rick's twice, and we had dinner at Three Bridges last night. Everything was good. Um, yeah, we really, really like it here. Yeah, so overall, it's a great place to stay. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.